Ah, hello, good morning, and welcome to Camilla and I. And uh, today we're up at the crack of dawn, and indeed with the crow of a cockerel, on the Lizard Peninsula. And uh, we're in Cornwall, and uh, here in the UK. Superb. And we're doing our first vlog from a camper van. So I came down this road yesterday and uh, well, the reason we're on this one is because it's one of the easiest ones to uh, walk with the trolley and I sussed out this route to an abandoned little quarry area and uh, I think this quarry area is uh, particularly good. Anyway, quick stop, flip me around. We're, uh, we've done the sussing out. We've done the preamble with the 100 to 400 millimeter lens and now we're packing the big guns quick flip you around so yeah so I've got the stealth gear trolley out because I know this is accessible by trolley we've now got the 600 millimeter out Sony A1 and the uh, Siru tripod with the uh, video head so we know what we're doing and we know we can get there because uh, there's lots of areas around here you can't pull a trolley and uh, ooh, this equipment ooh, very heavy all right to start with but then uh, gets very heavy on you by the end of the day ooh, bring the trolley if you can I don't know if you can hear that folks but there's definitely a cuckoo quite close so I've just got the camera all ready to go quick flip you around show you what I mean so yeah just in case we get sighting of that cuckoo I've now got the uh, camera all set to go Sony A1 with the 600 millimeter on and we just got to pull it out of the bag, take the hood off, lens hood off, just place it in the bag like so. So we've got instant access, just whip it out at a moment's notice. Anyway, it's getting close to that cuckoo. But will it spot me before I spot it? Normally the cuckoo spots you longer before you spot it. I know, but Keith, KG's photography. He did a whole series on chasing a cuckoo. Well, I think it nearly drove him cuckoo. Anyway, check out his channel. So he's a lot of fun. Okay. Some of that needs to go on the potholes around here. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're interested in this bit here. Wow. Yeah, we're just coming up to this quarry bit at the Lizard. Mullion to Bredanek. Forgive my Cornish pronunciation. Welcome to Danagda. The Lizard. Well, I suppose I better start talking about yesterday's scouting mission because, um, well, we did quite well actually on the scouting mission. Uh, my one of the birds I've been told I've got to photograph while I'm here is the chuff. Um, the sort of curved red beak blackbird and it's got sort of wings that um, fan out into uh, fingers in flight. Anyway, I can go home now because within an hour on this, uh, this little section here, um, within an hour overlooking overlooking the sea I got the, uh, a pair of chuff in flight uh, with the 100 to 400 um, so quite close not a bad shot at all I mean one's, uh, one's in focus at 5.6 I think it was two thousandths of a second and uh, yeah so happy days go home now within an hour anyway that's why we're back to the big guns see if we can get them again Anyway, they like this sort of like, quick flip you around. They sort of like this sort of open grassland, um, which they can uh, feed on. 
and then they can uh, go around the cliff tops as well and find a nest. So uh, anyway, apparently the chough was extinct to this area in until 2002 when a pair decided to uh, set up home again in Cornwall and uh, it's been a bit of a success story ever since so now there are a few choffs around but there's not many I think there's only about 500 pairs in the whole country so uh, yeah to get two pairs flying by yesterday was ooh, just a little bit of luck the sort of luck we have on Camilla and I but uh, shh, don't tell everyone so we're just coming up to uh, what I think is the uh, abandoned little quarry area and uh, I think this is what the locals refer to. Yeah so obviously this is a um, you know some sort of quarrying area they've extracted something from here and uh, yeah what a lovely little spot for wildlife superb Yeah, so I was at this quarry bit yesterday, and of course it's uh, it's turned into a sort of like peaty, marshy, bocky subsoil, and um, yeah, all these uh, grasses have grown up in this particular bog, and it's obviously constantly wet down here. It must be uh, some depth to the water because it didn't hasn't dried out. Anyway, here are a number. Of dragonflies so uh, it was great yesterday I must admit so I spent quite a while quite a lot of time recently doing dragonflies and today on um, and yesterday I got a dragonfly in flight better than I had all the previous times I'd uh, done before with 100 or 400 I got a um, broad chaser in flight male broad chaser so uh, yeah link to that one worthy of note and also I got another one I haven't identified yet but um, yeah, I'm trying to think what that one is but I'll show you that one hopefully I've identified that one by then anyway yeah shoot first ask questions later because there's a lot of dragonflies and there are some quite rare dragonflies in this area apparently so uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen a really rare one but uh, I've got a couple of good photos yeah, I must be quiet now because there's a little boffy, some little house or something that's just on the left hand side here. Amazing window out over the sea. Oh, incredible. Anyway, I better show up for the next 50 yards. Shh. Yeah, so we're going to set up here and uh, what a marvellous place to start Camilla and I's tour of the Lizard Peninsula. Quick, flip you around. What about this for a vantage spot? We don't get this very often on Camilla and I. So we're overlooking Mullion Island. incredible look at that what a coastline so we're covering a 180 degree sweep with Camilla so uh, yeah what a marvelous position so this is where yesterday we uh, got the uh, choughs flying by so uh, yeah a couple of choughs in the area brilliant and also there's uh, rock pipits. I've seen a rock pipit already this morning, but a uh, number of rock pipits. Herringal, 
seem to be nesting mostly on Mullion Island, but I'm sure there's other birds as well. I've seen shags as well. Anyway, we can pick them off more now. We've got the uh, 600 millimeter on. So yesterday it was more difficult to pick them out. Yeah, there was one suicide chick. It, uh, <laughs> it presented itself right at the pinnacle of the stack next to Mullion. Anyway, it was a bit closer. So I was able to get a shot of it, quick link to a shot. And uh, yeah, it was at the predominantly of this stack for about all oh, 10 minutes. And I thought, God, something's gonna whip that away. So needless to say, I kept my eye trained on that spot, but no, it's all right. It was okay. It didn't get eaten, but uh, yeah, Whew, must have been a close shave. So settings today to start with, we're wide open at f4 with a 600 millimeter which today we knew it was going to be dull and that's why we're filming this because it's also a lot easier to film video in this light i don't have to use filters so anyway superb so we have got f4 flight shots we're one two thousandth of a second to start with and we're getting an iso of ISO 250 and we love 200 so uh, we could stop down a bit to uh, f5.6 so plenty of room great and the other surprise Camilla and I had yesterday was a kestrel I saw a sparrowhawk on uh, inland um, I don't expect to see a sparrowhawk around here but a kestrel I uh, shot a kestrel off this um, same peninsula as uh, the chuff, amazing. Didn't expect to see, uh, what was it, was it male, male kestrel? I think it had a grey tail with a tip at the end. Anyway, linked to that one. Um, yeah, didn't expect to see a kestrel. I suppose it's sort of scanning the uh, cliffs for um, small birds, might pick up a rock pipit or something, or um, small birds' eggs, I suppose. Don't know. Anyway, let us know in the comments below. Is it normal to see a kestrel going around the uh, cliff? edge so uh, obviously uh, we don't do cliff cliff edge photography every day on Camilla and I so uh, yeah yeah just shot I think it was a couple of rock pipits on the top of that uh, little uh, cliff top link to that little bit of video Well, would you believe it, on Camilla and I, those choffs went round again. I don't know if it was the same pair as yesterday, sussing out this area, but uh, yeah, got them in virtually identical spot to last time. Um, not such good light this time, so uh, interesting. Uh, anyway, um, F4, one two thousandth of a second. Um, got a burst of about, oh, a couple of seconds as they flew round. I caught them a bit quicker this time, so uh, hopefully got some better shots. But, as I say, the light wasn't quite so good, so we'll see. I would probably have gone... I don't know. What do you think? Have a look. I probably would have gone plus one. don't know. What do you think on the compensation dial? Anyway, it's pretty good. Um, should be pretty sharp and of course this time we've got the 600 millimeter trained on there so uh, I think they were slightly further out anyway yeah fascinating same birds same tactic I thought I saw them go over the back of me over here um, about, ooh, about an hour ago and then come round and then flown by giving us a flyby here about an hour later I was keeping my eye out for them. I was just doing some selfies actually. So, uh, yeah, vanity, hey? I was just doing some selfies that'll drop it quick and uh, get these shots. 
It's a shame I wasn't holding the camera rather than the uh, video camera. Never mind. Well, the sea mist is starting to clear now because it was a bit, bit hazy at the start with. Um, and those choffs have been round. Oh, where well, they landed. They must land somewhere out of my eyesight. Anyway, never mind. I'd, I'd like to get some choffs on the ground because I've only got float shots. I bet there's quite a few people wish they had float shots and they've only got choffs on the ground. But anyway, lucky old Camilla and I. But uh, yeah, so the sea mist is starting to clear now. There are a couple of rock pipits. I've definitely seen a couple of rock pipits around quite close. Um, but is anything else going to turn up? What I really want is a peregrine falcon. Um, I haven't seen a peregrine yet. So uh, yeah, peregrine falcon, preferably perched 30 foot away would be really nice. And then swirling around doing a bit of hunting, this, that and the other. But wildlife photography is not like that. So uh, it doesn't happen to demand unless it's a pair of choffs flying. Yes, fun. Well, I think I'll give this half an hour more on this predominantly here, but uh, oh. Oh. beautiful little encounter there with a uh, rock pipit over in a flash, but uh, yeah, it stuck itself beautifully on uh, uh, a little little rock face and then uh, over to another rock face. Mm, beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> link to uh, video and shots. Oh, nice. Yeah, anyway, I think we'll give this another hour and um, see if we get anything else. That was beautiful. Lovely little encounter. Anyway, we'll give this another hour and then we'll move inland. And the reason why I'll move inland towards the quarry area again yesterday got some lovely stone chat and Keith that cuckoo's driving me crazy mate don't go tracing cuckoos oh just got a linnet up close as well now really well close it's about mm, 40 foot off so uh, it's um just singing on a twig. Yeah, nice little linnet just flown up there. Beautiful. And the other reason I chose this spot from a wildlife photography point of view is because uh, yesterday the sun was predominantly behind me and this is really useful. Even on a dull day it's a good idea to have the sun behind you. Well, another chuff encounter. They just seem to have flown off over this house at the moment, so uh, I think that's it for the moment. But uh, I got some more shots of, um, well, I got one shot of it coming head on towards me, a lot closer. In fact, it came too close at one point, I couldn't uh, couldn't actually focus on it. But yeah, another couple of chuff shots, amazing. Ooh, aren't we lucky? Yeah, anyway, I think they've flown off now, so uh, yeah, we better go elsewhere. And it's just starting to be a little bit, a few spits and spots in the air. So uh, anyway, I'll catch you later guys. Well, I'm going to have to call this episode, I think, uh, in for the killer shots on the lizard. This, uh, yeah, this has been quite amazing. So uh, yeah, done my classic tactics, scan out the area with the 100 to 400 and then move into the kill with the 600 mil and a quick flip around yeah what a result frame filling shots with the 600 of the chuff as they flew around this uh, head amazing and then they also they rested up while well, they were looking for a possible nesting spot i suppose on the uh, on the entry to uh, mullion harbor so in for the kill with the 600 mil Oh, lovely. Oh, it rhymes as well, that. Incredible. Anyway, thanks for watching an episode of Camilla and I from the Lizard Peninsula. Oh, 
Cornwall, UK. Awesome.